Hello, beautiful people, family of light. Welcome to Lemurian Lunation for Moon Nine since the solstice uh, in December. So over the hump, heading towards the next solstice. Uh, so let me just mention a little bit about Lunation. Lunation was given to me as a sacred assignment by the Pleiadian Star Mothers to help us connect more with the cycles of Gaia and the moon, what happens in our life. And sometimes it seems like it's uh, inconvenient for the days to get shorter or longer or hotter or colder, uh, but that is the cycle of the planet that we live on. And now that we live in houses with central heat and air conditioning and shades that go up and down, it's not so much an inconvenience. Although we look at it that way, we don't celebrate the changes in the season. So here in Colorado, the days are getting shorter, uh, cooler. It was only 49 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. Uh, which is actually a blessed relief. So as things change, we change too. And that's what the star mothers want us to know is that even though we're living in a climate controlled environment, in a climate controlled car, in an office, in a supermarket, that there are forces around us that influence us. So as we come into this Next full moon, moon nine, we have a lot of things going on. Always the full moon, of course, increases the light. The magnetic field of the sun opposes the moon as the moon rises and the sun sets when it's on its absolute full days. And that creates energy. It creates energy that affects us when we have those opposing magnetic fields. This is what the star mothers knew before they came to this planet, but then they taught us these things so that we could use the energy of the moon to move forward in our life or go inside or plant or harvest, whatever that moon cycle brought us. So, I'm not really connecting with the astrology, uh, more the astronomy. We didn't have astrology uh, as we know it now when we were in Lemuria. We may have had names for the Dipper or the North Star or things like that, but it's not what we call it now. We don't even have the same language that we did then. And certainly, the star mothers had a very different understanding of lunar aspects then, and solar and stars, very different than we do now. But what we can look for in this full moon is increased emotions, emotions coming up to the front. And this is something that full moons do. But as the moon is shining longer in the sky because the nights are getting longer, its effect on us is stronger. So our intuition is going to be stronger because we have more of that moon energy in actual time. And we are in more balanced in terms of looking at things and being impartial because now that we are headed towards the equinox when we have equal days and equal nights for a short amount of time in September, we're more balanced in the day and the night. So we're looking at things in a more impartial, more balanced way. And it's easy, we just feel that way. We don't have to convince ourselves that this is what's going on. It just happens. So the star mothers, our beautiful, wise, ancient teachers, always tell us to be the observers of our behavior, of our words, of our thoughts, how our body feels, 
to be the neutral observers. And now when this light is shining on us from the full moon, it's a really good time to do that. It's also a good time to bring old wounds to the surface that need to be healed and to drop them, not to go through some, uh, you know, mental gymnastics process to try to figure things out. You can just say, thank you and goodbye. <laughs> we don't need to carry those in our bodies and our minds any, or our hearts anymore. <sighs> yeah. So um, this is also the moon uh, for star center nine. This beautiful card from the star mothers. And it's about the sacred feminine. So I'm going to read you what the Star Mother's message is on this card while you see the graphic behind me. And you can just let yourself fall into the graphic and fall into the message as I read it to you. Your aspect of the sacred feminine is the dark and mystical face of the divine. In you, she is receptive, yielding, encouraging, affirmative, and nourishing. Open your right palm facing up to receive her blessings. Welcome her offering of internal surrender that is represented by her inward spiral as you feel the tenderness of the great mother sustain you. And take another breath. And just allow those words, those beautiful directive words of the star mothers about the sacred feminine, allow them to penetrate you, to talk to yourselves, to be inside with you as this beautiful moonlight shines on you. Now, let me go through this with you sort of li line by line. It says, the first line is, your aspect of the sacred feminine is the dark and mystical face of the divine. So we're saying that it's not dark energy, but that is where the mystical happens. It happens in the moonlight. It happens in the darkness of the day. And in you, she is receptive, yielding, encouraging, affirmative, and nourishing. Now, this is all things that a beautiful, perfect mother would be. Those are the aspects of a divine mother, of a mother who loves their child. And then we open our right palm to face up to receive her blessings. Now, if you're doing this and you start to feel a little pulsation in your right palm, just let that keep building and, and you don't have to do anything with it. Just feel it and enjoy it and feel that message from the divine feminine who is touching you right now and we welcome her offering. So with an open hand, you welcome her offering of profound internal surrender. That's what the divine feminine does. That's what a mother does when she's giving birth, that profound internal surrender. That's what we do when our children leave home. We surrender as they go out into their life. That's what we do when we lose our partner or a dear friend or a pet, or we lose our home or our health declines. We go into a place of surrender. Now that doesn't mean we give up on living, but what it means is we see the changes for what they are, part of this cycle of life. And then her internal surrender is represented by this inward spiral. So that is what a woman's body is. We go inside. We feel that sacred feminine in our womb, in our uterus, inward spiral to bring the energy in and up to the rest of our 
energy centers and out through the crown of our head into the divine. And that is the tenderness of the great mother. So let us hear what the star mothers have to say about this beautiful moon, moon number nine, September. So if you close your eyes and just take a breath. And let yourself find a way into softness. This is something else that the great mother represents, that she has the strength of an oak tree when it comes to defending her own. But she also has such softness in her heart that she can be so forgiving. Take another breath. Dear shining ones, we step forward into your circle. You know our love lives on the edge of this circle all the time. We are those, as we say in the shamanic teaching wheel, we are those that influence you from the outside of the circle. We are indeed the mothers of you all. And we ask you in this time to begin to empty yourselves yet again of the things that no longer serve you. And as you examine what that is, step outside your now self and see yourself in those days of Lemuria when we were together in the physical and you did not yet complete your Lemurian Akash. You were a student and you were learning. You looked at what happened in life, what people said and did. You looked at those things from a balanced, impartial perspective. You looked at your own feelings as they arose from a balanced and impartial perspective through the eyes of the divine being that you were learning about in those days. For you were born with that divinity in Lemuria, but you also were trained to see what that means and how to live. And you were, of course, told that you would come once again in many, many lifetimes to be a part of the history of the change on the planet Earth. You were the history once, you will be the history again, and perhaps again, should you so choose. Dear children of light, we ask you this now. Use this beautiful goddess moon to shine her ancient light on you. Stand in her light outside and open your arms. Say, yes, I am willing to release what no longer serves me. And add these words, Meleha would like us to tell you. <laughs> add these words with grace and ease. I am ready to release what no longer serves me with grace and ease. And I am willing to receive the new in its place. You know from your own science on earth that there is never a void for very long. This time, right now, on your planet, is a wonderful time to release and restore. Indeed, it is not something brand new that you will be bringing in to fill this void of letting go. What you will be bringing in will arise from within you. It is already there. You are just covering it up right now. 
So we ask you this, take a breath. I am willing to release what no longer serves me with grace and ease. And I welcome the knowing of my ancient Akash as it helps me create a new life in the new consciousness. That is your task. That is your affirmation. That is why you are here. That is why that each day that goes by in this uh, unprecedented time on your planet, each day is precious. Each day is a teacher. And we remind you also to be joyous, to play, to give thanks. Don't worry so much. We've got you. You would say, we've got your back. We've got all of you. Not only will you survive this time of passage into the new consciousness, you will be able to thrive in it in a ways you cannot yet imagine. There is cause for celebration. Do and be what you need to and use this precious time to release the old, to release the doubts and fears. Peel them off like a layer. Imagine they're your, you're your old clothes and you're standing in the moonlight and you peel them off and you stand there in your skin, just like you were born, and you let the light shine on you and you say, I am willing to release that which no longer serves me with grace and ease. And I welcome what is next on this sacred and magnificent journey. I welcome it to fill me up with the light that I knew in Lemuria, with the wisdom that I have carried in my Akash, I welcome it with great joy, with celebration, and I see myself being honored by the ancient ones. Imagine that we are the star mothers at your graduation, cheering you. You are graduating, dear ones, beloved children, shining ones, you are graduating. And we have this graduation ceremony in the full light of this beautiful lunar aspect. Stand in her light, bathe in her light, and thank her as her face shines upon you. Take a breath. And we step back now to the outside of your circle, but always there. And take another breath. <sighs> mm, that was lovely. Thank you, star mothers. <laughs> I always feel that energy leaves something special with me, changes me when it comes through. And I hope you feel that also when you are in that place of receiving from the star mothers. All right, dear, beautiful friends, family of light, bask in the moonlight as the star mothers say, release and remember. I hope to see you again very soon. On September 12th, we begin our beautiful Lemurian sacred sexuality teachings from the Star Mothers, what we learned in Lemuria. And you can find out all about that on my website, amberwolfphd.com forward slash events. 
And if you miss it, it will be recorded and you can find it in my teachable school, Lemurian Shamanism School. Until we meet again in the space and time and place where we connect. We are connected by the light from the stars. All my best to you.